Talk that blunt up to the sky. Fuck that personal. Every nigga matching in here now. Dutchy left, Dutchy right. Don't fuck up that rotation. Let's keep you with no Uno card. There's no stress at all, baby. Too many smiling faces. Undisputed truth will be proud. Love that herb, no hippie style. Smoking all the herb now. Blue dream, the moon rock. None of us on planet Earth. Breaking it down with the knowledge like shit was a grind. Yeah, I grind for my time, for my shine to do better. You keep my name in your mouth. Yeah, I call it this pleasure. All these niggas hating on me, no wonder. I'm just better. I'm trying to get to my level. That flying high is the mission. I just grind. Hey, yo! Peace and blessings, world. God and goddesses, kings and queens, niggas, and you know. Y'all know what day it is, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. I hope y'all got paid, because if you ain't, bro, you broke, ho. This is the most exclusive podcast in the motherfucking natty. Y'all tuning in with the God, Poet, and Mastermind. And when I say this is Busy One Radio, welcome to the GTS show. And I got some guys in the building. And when I say royalties in the building, I ain't even going to waste no time. I ain't even going to waste no time. I'm going to start to my right, which is y'all left. Y'all go ahead and bring yourselves into the world, man. Man, you know what it is, man. It's Cup Boy. Nah, we don't know who it is. Man, y'all know what it is, man. It's Cup Boy, man. Come straight out of
Now you're going to bring me back. So that's what happens when we touch buttons that we ain't about to touch. Now, God... Nah, I'm actually going to bring it back for the world, bro, because they don't know what the fuck was just recently going on. And, God, we're going to... Nah, we're going to rewind this back. We're going to rewind it back to the GTS stamp, and we're going to explain, Lily, how you grinded for your time to shine. If everybody ain't know, man, apologies for the fuck up. Shit happens. Right back to the show. But, God, go ahead and explain your GTS stamp to the world. So, my story... I'm just say, like, my story... Like, my growth came from, like, different people. We're going to switch this around. My growth came from different people. So, like, the people that was around me, they taught me not to take nobody bullshit. A lot of artists take bullshit, criticism, all that. That's why, like, you see me in tour with a lot of people. People bring my name up, but they bring my name up. I'm not going to take no shit. But at the same time, a lot of artists don't know, like, your work ethic got to match it too, but musically, like, you got to learn the business side. So when you learn the business side as an artist, it helps you out. So like me, I don't have a manager. I have a team, but I don't have a manager. But what I mean by team is each person play their role for you. So you got to be able to place people in certain positions to where they can help you out. Right. So, like, if you got somebody that do that's good at doing street promo, use that person for strictly for that street promo. Have somebody run around, put your posters up, your flyers up, all that stuff. If you got somebody to do your online stuff, have somebody help you with your online presence. Like, even if you got to post something, videos, all that stuff, Instagram. Instagram is really where it's at. Twitter. So, like, a lot of people start finding out about me because of Twitter. So, like, I don't do nothing here. I stopped a long time ago doing stuff here because of all the stuff that my day was going through, people perping about different things. It's it's a lot of stuff people don't know about. But with me, I was like, all right, cool. Forget it. But when I started taking it serious, I took the time out to learn the business side. Once I learned the business side, I was able to help other artists out that need help because they didn't know it. The same way I didn't know it. So once you learn the business side as an artist, you start doing numbers. You know where to place the money at. And that's the most important thing is knowing where to place the money at as an artist. So a lot yes, of artists sir. don't know where to place the money at. We do not think that we're going to just start investing in once we think we make it on chains. Oh, we're going to buy studio time. We're booking out. Right. What is y'all doing with y'all shit? Right. And then on top of that, like, I shoot music videos. I engineer. I'm good at both, like, all three. That's why, like, a lot of people be mad when I be like, I'm the best all-around person here. So, like, whatever you need help with, you can come to me, I can get it done. It's basically a one-stop shop. Like, me and my business partner, like, we know our roles. So, like, when people come to us, we able to help them with whatever they need done because we know exactly what to do. They come to me for certain stuff. We know they'll go to him for certain stuff. But... Because we know our role, it's easy. But that's why I tell everybody, like, that's an artist, like, place people in their roles that'll help you. Like, whatever your weakness is, have somebody that's strong in that area help you with that area. But that's the part a lot of artists don't I really like that how you said that. I really like how you said that. Because as a personal artist, when I try to tell people that you have to understand this business life, that if you think that you're going to just run out here and say that my music hot, Oh, I got some money to put behind me, but you don't know the education off of it? I'm about to run every last one of your pockets to the very last bottom. You will get 360 deal. You will be over here thinking that you got put on whole time, bro. I just took your money, put a little bit of digital marketing into it, bro. Put it on a put it on a little streams and said you did something. Showed you your numbers, bought a couple of bots. When I tell people this is really how media really and managers get motherfuckers thinking that they're gonna play their time. Now, I got the young guy. When I say the fresh young guy, the guy that literally, for the first time, just blessed the airways with his voice, man. And that's how you make a hell of an introduction as well. <laughs> I want you to go ahead and explain your grind time. Sean Stamp, man. Like, explain how, literally, you knew that this was for you. All right. So, like, I grew up. My brothers was rapping. And, you know, like, my big brothers. Both my big brothers. Shout out Dave and Big Nate. They both they used to be rapping and shit, like. But then my brother, he had got locked up maybe like 2016. My big brother was supposed to take over, you feel me, and start rapping and shit. But 
I ain't gonna get into that. He ain't do what he's supposed to do. So he basically told me like, you feel me? Like, bro, you got it for real. And I ain't never really think that I could rap. I just be made, like, I don't know if y'all remember the little ten toes challenge and shit like that. Like, I did one of those little ten toes challenges when that shit was hot, and I thought I was trash. Like, everybody swiping up, like, oh, that's hard. Like, then a couple years ago, what was that? Like, 2018, I'm thinking I had did a little crazy story, a little freestyle, or whatever. And, I did a little story about, like, make a part two and shit. And I'm like, bro, that, that was trash. Like, y'all messing with that for real? Like, you feel me? Like, I'm like, if I'm a rap, I'm going to make sure I make something that come hard. I want to make something heat. Like, they like, act like, that's hard. So I'm like, like, y'all don't really listen to the lyrics for real, for real. If y'all thought that was hard, like, that was some little stuff off the dome that I just wrote down. Like, you feel me? Like, but then what really made me be like, I'm about to start rapping and shit. Like, I was just chilling, vibing to this little beat. I wrote a song or whatever. And, uh... My friend, he was like, man, this would go viral. Like, if you really record this and do a video, like, it, it, would, it would go viral. And I'm like, man, I don't know about it. I still feel like I wasn't it. Like, you feel me? I feel like I wasn't really snapping for real, for real. So I rewrote the whole song. And then I just went to the studio the same day when I rewrote it. Like, and it was a dude told me at the studio, like, man, you got the voice for this shit for real, for real. Like, man, you got the voice, you got the lyrics. Like, you got to get your swag up, you feel me? Get your flow down. Like, so I'm like, all right, you feel me? Like. I'm, I'm gonna take a little time. That's when I, start, I, start, I start going to the Thompson house and shit. Like they were doing shows every weekend and shit. And I, I watch anime horror, y'all. Like I watch anime like motherfuckers. So I feel like Deku. Like I feel like I was like the rap game Deku. If y'all hip, I used to be going to little shows and shit. Like shout out Team Q, man. I used to be going up Salute there watching the him. Gods. And I used to be just taking notes, like literally writing down on my notebook or on my phone type of shit. Like I see what he did. I'm gonna try to do that. But better, like, or I'm gonna take it from what he, he did wrong, and I'm gonna try to see what I could do to make sure it's right. You feel me? Like, so as coming up in the game, and you're watching it now, and like you said, you're now stepping into where you're learning. Where do you actually see your career as a young man? Like, Lily, you just got started. Yeah. So, where are you seeing yourself as you're learning? Do you see yourself, Lily, more like me and the guy that spoke for? You could be in the background still running your things. Or do you see your do you see yourself more taking that line like? Yeah, I'm gonna take that line like I ain't gonna lie. I I ain't no cocky motherfucker or nothing like that. But I'm gonna tell you for sure, I'm confident and I know I got it now. Like how before I was telling y'all I ain't wanna rap because I felt like I ain't have it. Now I know I got it, so I feel like I could bring that energy. Like you you seen me perform before when I come on stage, even if I feel like y'all don't know me, y'all gonna know me by the time I get finished with this song. Like you feel me? So I I at the end of the day like. I ain't saying I want to be the face of some, but I'm going to make sure that motherfuckers remember my name for sure. I respect That's that. I go. Definitely. Definitely. And to the God, to the KY God, actually, that Lily is, for one, welcome back. Nice God, blur, God first blessed the show when it was actually first kicking off with Busy One Radio going into the year. And it was actually a wonderful set. But... I want you to go ahead and explain your GTS stand for the people that's new in the world and also been finding out more about you. Uh, my GTS stand, I started started writing music back in 2014. I did not go into the studio until the year of 2018. I filled up four notebooks worth of rhymes perfecting my craft. Yeah, I have songs that I like. I have songs that I don't like. Just like he was saying. There's songs I think is trash, shit like that. But I kept going. I didn't let that stop. So the more I kept doing it, the more I kept making music, the more I felt like this is me. My dad was in a band. My two brothers, one of them just passed away a couple years ago. Condolences. My second oldest brother to me, he had a song with my dad on it and my two other brothers on it in California in the studio. Mm. When I heard that and seen pictures with my dad in the band, that really showed me I had music running through the book. So I just sat back and like he, like I really said, you got to know the business. You got to know where to place your music, how to market it, how to promote it, who to talk to, who to be around, where to go, where to be, what time. Like, and it's all about your professional. One more time. It's all about your professional. My brother that was with me last time, he showed me how to do marketing. He showed me how to do promotion. So <laughs> the funny thing is, this is our motto. <laughs> this is the motto he taught me. Every door, every store, every whore. Hmm. It don't matter where you at. It don't matter who you with. You talk to every person that you walk by. You talk to every person that comes through a door. And you talk to every person that comes through a store. I like that. Because you don't know who you like. That's, like that. that's a real definition of ground hustle. Like you tell that man, 
Hi, how you doing, sir? I like that set that you have on. Oh, really, man? It was just a little nine, yeah. little, little 15. Nah, I got you. Know you. Like, now y'all done built up a conversation. For sure. Now you done made friends with a million. I always tell people, you got 30 seconds. You really got 30 seconds. More like 5 or 10 when you walk a pass, but you got 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. I got 30 seconds to walk up to either one of y'all and say, what's going on, real? In that moment, I've used 5 seconds up on my time. My energy going into my introduction. I got every responsibility of how this man's about to respond back to me. He could go, how you doing? Walk past. Oh, what's going on, bro, man? How you doing, man? You good? Start a little chop. Or literally, now you got a conversation like, hey, bro, what's good? Been a minute. What's, what you got going? Things like that where you got to understand, you yo, you not on a timer, but you wasting your own time when you understand that you want to be around everywhere you're not supposed I to be. you told me some shit like that when we first met. I remember you told me that straight up. You was like, bro, like the introduction is your most important thing. Because I remember when I first approached you, you was like, I ain't fuck with your introduction, how I approached you type shit. Like I was on some little <laughs> drunk shit. I ain't going to lie. We was at the party and shit. I'm like, what's up with you, bro? Like, I don't know. Like, he's like, he said, that ain't how you approach somebody if you're trying to do business with them. And I had to, ever since you told me that, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I be standing on that. Like, you and Q both told me that, like, bro, it's the way you approach people. Like, that's why I start networking heavy. Like, you feel me? I'm like, I, I'm trying to see how to approach people. Like, I was trying to feed off of what you was telling me. Like, One of my major things that people gonna learn is that's no matter what, I don't care who you are. You could be the most richest man, the billionaire man, no disrespect to the gods, man. You could be Dre, Snoop, Pot, I don't care. You got to have respect. For sure. You got to know how to properly talk to somebody, somebody come to you. I understand who you are. I know who you are. But how you speak to me is how I know exactly how to handle you from this For on sure. forward. For sure. Because mm -hmm. when I tell people, you can easily add to, like, literally, little do people know, the business talks to you like a child. If you want educated, they talk to you like a child. They say some big words. Dude. Okay, we got three shows. You're going to get 5000 <laughs> and we're going to go on a tour. You're going to sign a couple of things, and then we're going to get the bus and go get something to eat and get to the hotel, okay? You're get you ready for your next show. Like, so you're talking about 5000 to show? So What's my net? Uh, is there anything at the things. door? What about my merch sales? I get about five bottles to my section. All my people good. Man, how, how many people is allowed in this car, for one? <laughs> like, what, I, what I get? Do I get the bar? Or do I get the door? No, nah, we're gonna we're we gonna it. definitely so. we're gonna definitely break into that because when I tell people it, there's a real big difference when you understand that. Because we ain't in the limelight, but we in the limelight already. Right. Your name's been rung, but your doorbell hasn't been knocked on yet. Some of us have. Some of us got the blessings to literally sit around the big dogs and understand like Lily, it wasn't a stargazing moment, it was a sponge moment. Yeah. I'm soaking in everything I need to know and learn. So when I tell y'all, bro, I want y'all to call in, bro. I want y'all to show the love to the gods, bro, because literally, we go, oh, we could have went in on that so bad telling them about the industry, but it's going to go into my next segment, which is literally going to jot a couple of brains. But literally, man, 513-386-9412. Y'all can call the gods. Y'all can hear the God Cup, boy. Y'all can hear the God Rally, boy. Y'all can hear the God Just Cute. And y'all already know what to do, man. Call in that line. I'll stop the line right where it is. Bring in the call. And then if we on the segment, y'all got to wait unless the guy say it's respect. So, tap right back in with me, man. This is Busy One Radio, the most exclusive podcast in the motherfucking natty. It's the guy for the mastermind with the GTS show.
me a strap like a dyke. I was hitting the wrist on a bike. Serving work like a waiter at night. Doing more cause I gotta get right. Yeah, I'm living a hell of a life. Never tripping cause I be alright. So I'm spitting my life in this mic. I'm whipping it, I'm whipping it. Hit the whole block, I'm killing it. You know just what it is. Me and my team, we getting it. Whole lot of blue strips. Step on my back, I'm getting it. Hating ass niggas keep listening. Leave a nigga lost like Gilligan. I'm whipping it, I'm whipping it. Yeah. Too much. Let me take that back as if she bad. I'm a fuck. Yeah. She used to get the scale while I'm bagging the skunk. Let's see, ain't go to school. She just class with us. I remember when Deja was laughing at us. I was broke. I was bummy in my bag. One enough. But now I'm 50 rich. She keep asking the fuck. I hit. She got mad because I asked in her cup. Oops. Raya too saw she wasn't savage enough. And her friend bad. She was average to her. Kick it real freaky. Let me smack when I fuck Kayla. Still mad. I showed her dad in the cut. As she spared me like a DJ. Say I'm ugly, I still crack, but what she say? Nisha, girl, I got you, I'm so sorry for the delay. Now your nigga gone, you can ride me like the freeway. Don't tell me that you love me, I don't wanna hear that. My heart's so cold, you gon' freeze if you don't get back. No way, ain't like, believe me, she can pick it, she can test it. But I ain't wanna hurt her, so I left her for a lesson. Damn, I just got my heart broke again, so I don't need another brown skin. Creamy as hell, I call her peanut butter, dark skin, all of my pants. But she a leech or some nice skin, she got a man, but she be cheating on a white girl. She with her friends, they wanna lick or some. That's cool, meet at the spot, cause we can't be in public. She like, I'm on the way, but don't think we fuck a guy here. Smoked in her face, cause she ain't bring me nothing. Type shit, now I get my pen, and I write shit, heart cold. You can only hit it with a ice pick, like bitch, believe it, what you say, and don't be biased. I come late, but I'm leaving early like the night shift. Said that you would take it all, you just gotta take a chance. Shorty screaming, take a shot. He just wanna take a hand, but he looking for a wife. She just wanna shake her ass, so he thinking of some shit. Hopefully he make a lame, but nah, though. You just tried that shit up on the wrong hole, a law, so. She just want some handy in the front, so I'm gone, bro. Hopefully it won't be for long, though. I run back to the same place I got my heart broke. Told you I would lift you up, cause they always let you down, but you didn't give a fuck. You ain't want the extra mile, calling you ain't picking up. Oh, you must be with him now, baby, you can live it up. I'ma take a different ride and stack cheese. Instead of what I say, cause that's what facts be. I'm glad things start to look good with all those bad jeans. Past things cover my days and let the bad dreams. I'm fucked up, but I feel fine since you ask me. Don't ask me none of them things about the past me. Don't pass me none of them drinks. That's not lasting. The last thing I wanna see is my dad leave this fire in my belly. I just realize what my dad means. I just got my homework again. So I'ma need a minute Brown skin sticky as hell So I'ma keep my bitches dark skin Thinking the thighs are toting cleavage with a light skin She got a man but really need a nigga White girl came with her friends But she ain't leaving with them That's cool, meet at the spot But I ain't sleeping with her She like, I wanna drink But I ain't freaking with her Told her, come back tomorrow I'll set up a meeting with I her I can't fuck with light skins They be asking too much Let me take that back Cause if she bad, I'ma fuck Key, she used to get the scale While I'm bagging a skunk Let's she ain't go to school She just class with us I remember when Deja was laughing at us I was broke, I was bummy in my bag one up, but now I'm 50 rich, she keep asking the fuck, I hit, she got mad cause I asked for the cup, I just got my heart broke again, so I don't need another brown skin, creamy as hell, I call her peanut butter, dark skin, all of my pants, like she a leech or some light skin, she got a man, but she be cheating on a white girl, she with her friends, they wanna look at some. that's cool, meet at the spot, cause we can't be in public, she like, I'm on the way, but don't think we fuck a guy here, smoked in her face, cause she ain't made me nothing.
Who is this blessing my radio? Hey, this your boy Newton, man. Straight out west, man. Straight from out west. Man, what's good with the guy, man? How you feeling? I'm cool, man. What's up with you? Hey, everything royalty, guy. Who you here to show your love to? Hey, the, the just cute nigga, man. I don't know if I can say the N word on here, but the just cute dude on there, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my nigga, we can say that shit. Yeah, keep keep going, dog. I ain't gonna lie, that peanut butter might have to get replayed too, dog. <laughs> hey, good looking out, man. Hey, yeah, we tapping in. Keep going, though. Y'all, y'all nice for real. Hey, appreciate it, God, man. One more time. Who just blessed my radio? It's your boy Nook, man. Straight from my west, man. Tap in. Salute to the God. For sure, for sure. Hey, man, I tell y'all, man, this is real. Y'all can't tap in. Y'all can't go live. Y'all will be here with us. 513-386-9412. I'll stop these tracks, man. We'll bring it back, man. But the way I do this song, man, y'all need to sit back in y'all mellow mood one more time and get on this Bonnie and Clyde. Out West, that's what he said. Salute right, to the man. guy, Nuke Out West, Nuke man. Nuke Out West, I appreciate it. I'm going to actually bring this back a little bit more. And then we're going to run it right back. GTS Show, y'all know it's the guy, Poetic Mastermind. Tap right back in with me. I don't know how this goes. Hey, yo, who is this blessing my radio? Big name. Hey, what's going on with the guy, man? How you feeling? Hey, yo. Hey, I'm good, man. I just wanted to give a shout-out to my son, man. Just cute, man. I wanted to say I'm proud of him and keep it up. That's it, man. Thank you, Pops. Thank you, Pops. Hey, that's real OG style, man. That's real OG. For sure. I appreciate it. Hey, one more time, guy. Who just blessed my radio? Uh, Big Nate, Big Nate, just cute dad, man. Hmm. Salute to your pops, man. Tap in with us. All right, yeah, for sure. Hey, that's love, God. Real yeah, shit, yeah. that's love, man. Yeah. I love my Y'all already know, man. man. Y'all can tap in, bro. The family you up. watching, pops, man. Hey, I appreciate you, man. The family up. So y'all know y'all can tap right back in with me, man. This <laughs> is the GTS Show. 513-386-9412. Tap right back in with me. Got a bunch of slums on the team. They don't even mind sharing this. Bad slim, tell me that the team got the title in the city. Yeah, ain't nobody touching that. Please be careful, cause I don't wanna have the OGs come here and get the bus. Add it up, add it up.
Hold on, y'all know how we do this. Hey, yo, who is this blessing my radio? Shay. Hi, Shay. <laughs> What's got you calling in today? Q. Just Q. Show your love, baby. What you got to say? Just Q? What you got to say to him? All right, y'all, I'm going to take you, keep going, keep going or whatever, and talk to your shit. For sure, for sure. I hear you, I hear you. For sure, I appreciate it. So you already know, tap right back in with us, all right? All right, thanks. It ain't the most nervous moment that a person has in their life, baby girl. You cannot be afraid when you call to my goddamn show. Uh, uh, you can definitely tell. That's what I like. I got to carry you through, baby. Like, just talk your shit or whatever. Like, hurry up, get me offline, though. Shay, I miss you, too. What's your time out? <laughs> right, bro. If I had them tickets in there, though, she'd be like, "I'm in the line <laughs> just for Q." <laughs> yeah. Y'all already know, man. Tap right back in. We about to finish up this last of the song and bring it right back in. This is a GTS show. Y'all know the love is all over the board, man. I got the guys, man. Boy, you know they hear you. Tap right back in. <laughs> Hey, yo, y'all know y'all tapping right back in, man. Y'all going in. This is the GTS show. Y'all know it's Friday. Y'all know y'all got a job, but y'all ain't got shit to do right now. But tap into the most exclusive podcast of the motherfucking natty. I got the guy, Cup Boy. I got the guy, Really Boy. I got the guy, Just Q, man. We tapping in. We we literally dropping gems on y'all on that first segment because we could have went all day on y'all. Real shit. But now, I want to bring it to a moment where literally it gives us the quick thought. And with the quick thought, Lily, we explain how we see things in the main industry and also in our background. And in our backyard, how we literally try to compare ourselves a lot of times to the industry. All that long, you can treat yourselves on calling yourselves out on shit that, you know, you've done before. But my main thing is, I want to definitely talk about is learning the business as a young artist. Because me and Relly, Lily has a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge when it comes to that. and when it happens in a whole different way. You don't know where to take it. You don't know where the proper people to even trust when you step into this game. But also, I want to give them my educational tip. Stepping into this world, let alone being your own background, knowing that I can handle all this myself with a team. I want y'all to explain y'all quick thought in the industry and what y'all see that be going on. But cut. I actually want to start with you, guy. Shit, industry, I don't know. It's a lot of knowledge. It's a lot of things that people don't see. Like, something that I just figured out or something that I just stumbled upon what they call gatekeeping. Yep. Yeah, I just figured that out. So, you know, got to steer away from that. I ain't trying to, uh uh-uh. But uh, industry... I've been seeing Actually, a lot break of, it down to them, man. If you don't, I if mean, you want to give them, the, if you want to give them the proper knowledge on what a gatekeeper is, is it's for real what everybody already know. Like certain shit that people want to do to solidify themselves in a certain spot, so they got to do certain shit that they wouldn't do in the normal world. Mm-hmm. Something that they wouldn't do around their bro. Something that they wouldn't do around their family. So for sure. shit be behind door. That's not my business. I don't know nothing about it because it's not my organization. Right. It's just something that you know about. You feel me? So, but as far as the industry, all I can say is don't look for no 360 deal. Don't look for that money because you can make the money that they trying to give you on your own. You feel me? So, don't do what they think 
is best for you. Don't dress how they want you to dress. When you get to a point and you go to these shows and they try to bring you a wardrobe, if it ain't your wardrobe, tell them it ain't, that ain't me. But always keep a backup. I'm going to come out here as me. I'm me. Yeah, y'all help me out. Yeah, y'all push me. Yeah, y'all distributed me. But I got to make sure that I'm true to myself. If I'm doing what you want me to do, if I'm dressed, like, look at everybody that came into the game dressing a certain way, dressing like themselves, but then once they got to a certain status and now they doing this and they doing that and they dressing a certain way and wearing all this weird shit, like, nigga, back in high school, you wasn't wearing that shit. When none of these niggas putting fingernail polish on their fingers. <laughs> Miss Khalifa wasn't talking about smoking no planes and none of that shit. With chucks on, big ass tees, big ass pants. Tied it up! Tied it up! He didn't have no finger. But he didn't have no fingernail polish on his finger, bro. Stay true to yourself. He don't do that shit. <laughs> when Machine Gun Kelly came out, he was dumb as fuck because he tried to come at Eminem. So, yes, he had to go a different route. But stay true to yourself. Don't do what these labels want you to do. All right? That's what the industry is. I definitely like that guy. And to the young guy. What is your take on a quick thought that you feel like you can tell? You said what I can do what? What is your quick thought on the segment, God? What is your intake on the business? Um, like I said, I just really just started for real, for real. So I ain't really like seen too much with the marketing and the networking and stuff. Like you feel me? But I've been trying to, like you feel me, get my foot in the door with like marketing and stuff. Like that's why I've been tapping in with Q. Uh, I can't think his name. Big Hen. You know, you know who I'm talking to, man. You know you on here, man. I tapped in with you. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't really like. That's what I'm saying. Like that's that's my main thing right now. That's why I ain't putting nothing on, on no videos, nothing like that out. That's why I'm still working on like getting my fan base up because I really still don't know how to market for real. Like that's why I'd be like, oh yeah, like I need I need help with getting a YouTube. I need help with. My, my 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 fashion like how you were saying like when people be like oh you should wear this like i automatically be like nah like you feel me like i just be feeling like that like i don't know like but uh from what I, from from what i've seen so far though basically i just feel like that i need to pay attention more like you feel me i need to pay attention to what other people are doing and when they telling me i should like how I was saying, like I was going to shows and shit, and I utilize shit that motherfuckers will do wrong, the dudes for uh, do right for my show, or I see somebody do something right, and I'm like, I'm gonna do that too. I just start doing shit like that when it comes to like marketing and networking and shit like that, because I be thinking like, oh, just because I got somebody Instagram, we tapped in. That's how I be feeling. But now I know, like, cause I DM somebody like, what's up, let's work, like, and they be like, who is this? Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I ain't hit him up. Like, you feel me? I gotta, I gotta really like push, get my name out there. Like, cause when motherfuckers hear Q, they think a team Q automatically. Like, you feel me? I be like, yeah, my name Q. They be like, so I'm like, my face me? Like, like, nah, that ain't me. But like, I fuck with him though. You feel me? Like, so that's 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 really what I'm trying to get to right now. Is like I'm trying to get my own merch, like get my own clothes. Like, you feel me? Like, I hope they answer the question. I hope I answer that wrong though. But like, you feel me? Like. Oh, uh, no, it's Lily. Like I told you guys, it's the best way you explain it. Yeah, like uh, that's the reason why I don't have a script, bro. So you can't feel like you you said the wrong thing, bro. All right, well, I'm just being real. You with speak y'all. your mind. That's all it is, man. Now, God, big OG, go ahead and explain lifestyle and business that we can also educate them in as well. Business, I tell everybody like place everybody in their role. That's the main thing, like. If you ain't got a manager, use whatever that person good for. So like, if you got somebody that's good at running the streets that could put promo up for you, how that person do that? You got somebody who good with online presence, how that person do that? Like, feel your weaknesses that that help. Cause most people like when they do like people that do new artists, they don't know like how to feel their weaknesses. They don't know what their weaknesses mm. are. So, like, you got to understand what your weaknesses is and, and feel them weaknesses. Like, make them your strengths. Like, if that's that person's strength, all right, cool. Like, that person can go do that. All right, that person know the... He can do the copyrights and he know where to place the money up for the uh for your music. All right, I'm going to have that person do that. 
but you it's all about building like relationships and trust but relationships is the key to everything like for as music so like i got relationship with like industry artists like people don't know i deal with them for real i deal with them all the time because i mix their music or I, i'm shooting something or i'm editing something I'm, i do a lot of behind the scenes stuff but they know i do music but that's what people know me for but because it's, it's kind of switching, but it's not switching because I do, I know how to balance both. So like, it's hard for me to balance both though, because cause of what people need doing. So I cater to what they need doing. So like, a lot of people don't know I'm with Empire. I'm the one who set up a lot of people with Empire. So that's me doing it, but you wouldn't know unless somebody told you, but this me telling you that it's me doing it. So like, if you go on my music, you gonna see it say Empire on it, say it. So you know I'm not lying about it. <laughs> and it's on Facts. top of that, like, it's certain things that they do that I couldn't do. Like, they monetize all my stuff. So, like, no matter where I'm at, like, even if somebody live on Facebook, you play my music, I get paid for that. <laughs> no matter who, you, where you at. Like, you know how sometimes they be like, all right, uh, copy, copyright your fragment, all that stuff. Yep. I, I got to set up like, no. Try to like, flag your them, shit? Yeah, no, don't flag it, let them play it so I can get paid off of it. <laughs> For sure. That's how you, that's how you wanted to set up. I've been trying to tell people that so many times. It don't matter if you say I don't control this music in the background or anything. Yeah. You could dispute all this shit and actually let these people get played. Yeah, but they got to have it set up to where they can get paid off of it. Like a lot of industry artists, they don't know they can get paid off of it. Like, I'll be like, shoot, scream out, let them play it. Like, it'll depend on how many people on your live. If it's like, let's say you got 20 people on there, you got 20 people on there, it's four of us, that's 80 people. Yeah. Or that's 80 streams right there. Facts. People don't know about that. That's still counted as a stream no matter what. And you still get paid off of it. Five seconds. I, <laughs> I got a stream. I didn't even know that, though. Yeah, as long as, you're, yeah, as long as your music know. plays past five seconds, bro. It's 30 seconds. 30. Now? It's 30, yeah, 30. seconds. It's always been 30. It don't matter what song it is. Yeah. Ah. It's 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah, because TikTok was trying to get motherfuckers on that little, as long as it's past five seconds, it counts. Yeah. So I was I, like, I was want, taking count on that one. Yeah, each company different too, though. Okay. So each company different, but mainly 30 seconds. Like YouTube, That's in, order for, uh, in order for you to get a view on YouTube, you got to go to 30 seconds. So that that's yeah, the part that one was the know. boy. Yeah, I, I started hitting motherfuckers be like, to see if it was real. "You think you gonna get it? Nah, I'm playing." It's real, real, real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta I literally have it. View, I literally tell people every numbers part. count. Numbers count when they you talk about numbers. your streams. They, they look at numbers. Time is money. Like if you want to get signed, like they look at your numbers, they pay attention. Like, don't don't think that you're gonna be paying for robots and all that shit. They know who talking. I only, only got one song posted though. Like you feel me? Like, nah, like, but we are gonna teach you the game of that one. We are gonna let you learn yeah, that though. But I'm gonna listen to y'all for sure. <laughs> but it's so much stuff. Like that's why I said like business side. Like I done been through so much. Like it been wild. Like I done have people use my. Try to make songs about me just so they can get a buzz, but be like, all right, cool. Wasn't gonna do it. All right, cool. I'll just kill you real quick. Like, it ain't nothing. But the thing is, people gotta understand, like, if you do that, I'm gonna take advantage of it. All right, cool. You made a song about me. All right, let me test a little marketing scheme and see if it worked real quick. For sure. That, that's what I'll be on. Like, I'll test a, a scheme real quick to see if it worked. If I like it, all right, cool. When it's time for me to drop my project, I'm gonna use it on that. But you got to use stuff that come your way. Like, people don't use my name just to get a buzz. <laughs> like, no matter what's going on. Like, you say my name is what? Facebook, all that stuff. Tag my name, somebody going to say something goofy. Like, why y'all using my name for it? Like, just so y'all can get a little buzz real quick. So y'all can get a whole bunch of comments on there. Like, if you notice, like, when people do that, like, they stuff go up. But they stuff go up because it's my name. But I still use it as a promo tactic for my shit. That's the other thing, That's though. Smart. Like, I'll take advantage of it. Like, all right, cool. Go ahead. Take, extremely take advantage of it. Every time somebody use your name in something negative, uh, any press is good press for you because you just got to understand how to use it. But that's a marketing scheme. Like, like people call me, like, Dubai. Dubai Almighty call me, like, an evil genius for it. Because I understand how to do Salute use. to the God. <laughs> like, but Dubai been around me for the longest, though. That's the one thing people don't know. Like, he the one who set up for me to do something with Cali Cub before he passed away. 
I don't want. I probably was the last. I might. I want to say I was the last person he did a song with. But the song I did with Cali, people knew about it. But the thing was, like, I had that song circulating on my own, so I showed Cali something. But the thing was, like, before Cali passed away, I me and him was going back and forth on the video. Him with the video done. That that's something people don't know about. But the other thing people don't know about, I was about to meet Cali or Cali was about to help. Me. But the thing was, Cali was about to help me because if people know this music, me and Cali make the same thing. Sparks to tell anybody that. Me and Cali like the same beats. But we got different styles. But when you like the same stuff, you do you do music with a bounce. Like we like beats that got a bounce. So anything that got a bounce to it is gonna go in the club. So like if you if people know Cali history, Cali the only artist from here. People can vouch for it. He the only artist here who got who had five songs being played in the club every night. How many artists here you know had five songs being played in the club every night? Different songs though. True. <laughs> different songs. We ain't talking about the same song. We talking about different songs. And Calvin not even getting his music played on the radio. You walk in one club, his stuff is still being played. I have I, the one song I did well circulated quick. Yeah, it was because he was on it, but. It was actually a good song too, though. Cause Kylie said, like, he was like, if you do this right, you can, you got this song got the potential to blow you where you want to be at. And where is that? Where is the biggest educational point to the youth that you could point out in that? In that, it was the biggest educational point in that was was the way that I pushed it. And like and learning like where to place it at because like when I was placing it where it need to be at and getting it in the hands, it start moving on the zone. Mm -hmm. So now like when your music start moving on the zone, like you fine because now it's pushing. Now you doing numbers and all that. The thing that I messed up on was not putting it out on streaming sites. That's where I messed up at because I didn't know it. If I would have knew it then, it would have been cool. Like I had another song circulate. Matter of fact, I had three songs circulate. Like, this was before Cal. I had three songs circulating. I went to all the open mics the same way everybody else was. But the thing was, I was performing the same three songs. You know how people go to open mics and perform the different songs every week. No, don't do that. <laughs> if you, if, over time, like, people gonna start knowing the words to your song. Like, I had people knowing words to the song. So when I go perform, they sing the words to the songs, and I didn't have the music out. Lesson learned, I should have put the music out. If I would have knew how to do it back <laughs> then, I would have made a lot of money. That's where I made my mistake at. That makes sense. So when man. people gonna learn, when I tell this one, majorly, yeah, as an artist, y'all can get as much music as y'all want out there. Y'all can flood the whole world with songs every day, songs every night. Lily, I'm dropping another album in a week. I'm dropping another EP in a month. Do y'all understand that? Where y'all release them, where y'all put them, and who do y'all go to to have that network outsourced? Y'all will never learn that it ain't going to count. I used to be the one of the Lily, one of the little dumb artists that think as long as I got heard, I'm cool with it. Right. Until you start hearing how many times I get heard and now I want my money for it. Thanks. Motherfuckers don't know this part of the game when, yeah, now you're waiting for your money, but guess what? You put it on all free streaming websites. Right. You put right. it on all places that you get no revenue from. Right, but the thing is, like, even they gotta you, learn that. Right, even though you did that, the thing is, like, people gotta know how to monetize it. So once you learn how to monetize it, now you get paid off of, it. like, you can get paid off of. It. I'm getting paid off of SoundCloud. People don't know my SoundCloud monetized. I know it's monetized, but it's because of who I went through, who my distribution through, and that's the other thing too, though. Like a lot of artists gotta understand, like, you gotta give up something to gain something too. Right. And so it's not the wrong with giving up a percentage. So, like, I gave up a percentage just so I could gain. But even though I ga I gain a lot. So, like, these past couple years, I've been with this company for two years. I learned so much stuff within the last two years to where, like, I can pass what I learned to somebody else and show them what to do. Now, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Mm -hmm. Lily, now we about to <laughs> teach them in our next segment because, Lily, that's what my next segment is about. When I tell people, all right, you're doing it now, you got to put it to the mouth and actually speak for it. So I really want the world to tap in. Y'all been knowing, y'all been hearing, y'all been getting the love from the guy just cute, man. Y'all know the family calling in, y'all know the lines calling in, the, 
Lily, I don't know who calling on this line, so y'all never know who gonna show y'all love. Real shit. I had my own country call, bro. I knew it was over. <laughs> Big salute to Jamaica. But I want y'all to tap in with me. 513-386-9412. And no, y'all can tap in, talk to the guy just cute. Y'all can talk to the guy just really boy. Just really boy, man. No, no, y'all, y'all, y'all need to put some respect on the name. And just cowboy. It's simple. My nigga did the Superman pose, man. I wish the world could see this right now. <laughs> My nigga said the Superman pose, bro. Hey, get off your Cam Newton, nigga. <laughs> you already know, man. 513-386-9412. Tap right back in with me. You to lead the way, what to do, don't know what to do. It wouldn't be this hard if I wasn't so confused. Try to take it slow, even though it's time to move. This feeling in my heart got me feeling like a fool. I wish it was easy, but this love shit is tough. I can't be mad if you done had enough. I believed in your lies and you broke all my trust. Now I'm surprised, I thought you were the one. Yes, I was wrong, and now I finally see that if love is a drug, then I ain't trying to relapse. If you forget everything, then time to recap. We came too far, now just look at where we at. Darkness be coming so light to me. My heart's so cold, I might like the freeze. Baby, can you tell me what you like in me instead of just asking what do I believe? Cause I just want to know the truth. I should find another bitch, but ain't another you. I'm so stuck in my head, I should be stuck with you. Now I'm taking these ill to make some W's. Hold on, I know they say life goes on. You look so damn good with your clothes on. It feels so damn right till it goes wrong. Don't know what to do The love I got for you is 
driving me crazy. Thinking about having your baby. Riding in a Mercedes. Just need time to focus on me. Can't control who you fall for. I want your heart, but I want more. You must not know how I feel for you. Anything you want, I'll give to you. Fuck that bitch who broke you. Pieces to your puzzle. Fix you like some broken glass. You thought that shit was impossible, but I really showed your ass. It's coming so clear to me. I never thought you appeared to be. Appeared to be my enemy. All the shit you. Who is this best my radio? Yo, this go. One more time. Oh, man. I see my man just two on there. Oh, yeah, for oh, sure. Shit. For sure. Good looking out. My guy had to like say, you know, who go? Wait, who, 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 who is that one time though? <laughs> who is yeah. this best my radio? Oh, yeah. What's up, my brother? Bro, hold on. Man, hey, y'all know what the fuck going on. It's going up, baby. Hey, show your love, man. What you got to say, bro? I could be there with you. He said he wish he could be here with you, man. Shit, I wish you could, too, man. Hey, man, you already know how we coming all year. Justice League, man. You already know, man. Fuck Marvel. <laughs> hey, now, now, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Yeah, my nigga, you know you just fucked up, right? Wait, wait, hold on. We but hold up, hold up, hold up, man. Y'all already know, man. Y'all already know, man. Hey, what are my cousins? But one more time, man. Who is this that just bust my radio? This double motherfucking D, man. Look me up, D underscore. <laughs> Hold up, God. Hold up, God. Hold up, God. Hey, that's one thing I can't do, bro. We're going to let you show your love, man. But don't be trying to get the cloud off the shit. We don't do that. You show up. You got to earn your shit on here for people to follow you. You feel me? So that's why we're going to keep it 1,000. Hey, you got to let your boy know, man. Hey, he got to earn his way up hey, here to be bro, calling his man. tag out hey, like that. Yeah, you can't do that. So y'all know, man. We're going to tap right back in, up, man. man. This is the GTS show, man. Tap right back in with me. But I always believe the lies telling me you with the girls, but you out here with the guys. Why you gotta lie to me? Shit ain't what it seem to be. I know they say life goes on. You look so damn good with your clothes on. It feels so damn right till it goes wrong. Niggas be lying, niggas is dying, you steady retired. Community starving, we deep in the 
problem, we deep in the struggle. You make the wrong move when youngers about you. No fighting to touch you. They show you dead. Sliding in nice, look like a sled. Very lucky, now be repping the red. Slap me like a booger straight from my nose. Put it on my shoulders, carry the low. Trapped up like a pair of jabos. Came up, now you see in the clothes. You already know I ain't paying these hoes. I'm a dead broke, now I'm rolling in dough. I'm giving in double G, double C, Louis V, Don't G. Yeah. Hermes, Cartier, two tone on set. All flights still tight, airport take flight. I'm talking about back in, but down coming in all night. I'm dipping in double G, double C, Louis V, Don't G. Hermes, Cartier, two tone on set. All flights still tight, airport take flight. I'm talking about back in, but down coming in. Shout out, Chuchu. I ain't gonna take this beat, <laughs> but I had to. Yeah. We don't give a fuck about 12. We gon' blow this bitch up. All my niggas raising hell, they ain't going for none. Get my weed and my scale, and I can't forget my gun. Yeah, my name ringing bells, and they whole weight like cups. Never meant no disrespect, but now I gotta cross the line. All them shots that's gon' fuck around and be somebody die. Ain't the same nigga I was before nah. I had to change the time Catching bodies like they footballs Come with bullets out my neck Don't ask if I'm okay I got some shit up on my mind on I'm my with bosses every day We just put shit in line Free my brother out that cage no. Down that state doing time Damn. Niggas acting like some bitches And we know they ain't gon' stop nah. Man, fuck that nigga city Boy, we know you ain't on shit Making niggas think you got it But you living off your bitch Damn. I know you in your body cause you had to make a diss We stop all of that line, you ain't never stepped on shit Let's talk about your team, huh? see they ain't with you Said you on your own cause you ain't being official Thought that you was grown but you still crying over the issue Leave that shit alone before somebody need a tissue <laughs> Talking all that op shit, let's be real I ain't never heard your name making no blood spill. Nigga. Niggas put they movie on like this shit ain't real. We ain't using special effects, my nigga. These bullets real. Said he gon' expose. What? Ain't exposing shit. I've been quiet for too long. Now I gotta talk my shit. And you really think you better than me, my nigga? Think again. We ain't cool. We ain't bros. And I don't call these niggas friends. Shit. What you tuning into right now, man? Where y'all at? GTS? Yeah. Where y'all in? Yes. Cause y'all know this is the most exclusive motherfucking podcast in this motherfucking Friday, man. Y'all already know, man. I got a guy, man. I got a guy cowboy, man. I got a guy really boy, man. I got the guy just you. So to the highest motherfucking bit on the most exclusive podcast in the motherfucking natty. <laughs> y'all already know how we get it, man. This is a GTS show, man. Y'all tapping back in with the guy poetic mastermind. And we got we've been getting into some good segments, man. But Lily, now I really Want to start digging. And my favorite segment, one, this is my third favorite segment. Yeah, they rank, ho. <laughs> this is the do it to move it. And the do it to move it, literally where they say, put your money where your mouth is. Nah, put your work where your mouth is. Come on, I tell people, bro, everybody got a track record. Everybody could talk that. Everybody could say, look at my numbers. But when we really know you doing it. You really working out here. People seeing you put in the work in the background. People seeing you out here literally networking. This is them do it to move it. I don't give a fuck about the shows. I don't give a fuck about the video numbers. What are you doing out on this block? What are you doing out here to make sure people remember and know who you are? It's literally, it literally takes that level of patience, let alone confidence for somebody to tell what they've been doing and not get exposed. But before I do this, man, I want to bring a guy on that also been blessing the room with me, man. Hey, God, 
Yo, what up, guys? I need you to go ahead and bless the world, man. Let them know who you is, man. Yo, what's going on, man? This AG the motherfucking God of Peace and Love. We up here at Busy One Entertainment on the GTS show, the most exclusive motherfucking podcast in the motherfucking Natty. And we came to bless the airwaves as only I can. What's going on, Mr. Brother? Peace, God. Welcome. Right, thanks for having Everything me. is everything. Now, that guy didn't need a mic, bro. I let my voice hear. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers feel that, man. But I actually want to start off with the youngin. Because when I tell you the reason why Lily God earned it here, God told him every time that I seen him, he was not only willing to learn, but it was never a closed mind. It was a more of a, I wanted to be self-critiqued, but at the same time, what can you show me that I actually did good and I could improve on? When I tell you, when I tell the world, little bro did something that Lily, most most rookies out the gate don't do, bro. Announce itself, let people know, bro. I can do this freestyle. I can do this for. I can do this on for fun. When we performing, I'm out here. I'm moving around. I'm engaging with my people. That what got him on here. When I tell people, when you spit your words and you spit your words and know that you mean that shit word by word. I can literally look at Riley Boy when he's when he literally spitting Bonnie and Clyde and literally know that Bro really mean that shit. That wasn't just a song that was a vibe. I actually meant that when I was rolling it. Like shit, I'm trying to create my own little shit. But I want you to go ahead and explain to the world, man, your edition of your do it to move it because you got a lot of work. For sure. But it's just That's getting started. That's the truth. So basically like what I'm trying to do now is right now is I'm just trying to get like like how I was saying before, like I'm trying to get my little fan base together, but I'm trying to also like like how you saying do it the movie, like you feel me? I'm trying to get other artists, you feel me, that I know that just starting like me. Like you feel me? And I'm trying to find some real talent, like and I ain't trying to like start no group or nothing, like, but you feel me, like we can start really networking with each other, going to the studio, you feel me, helping each other sell tickets and stuff like that. Like you feel me, like all of that. Like we can do Man, I'm trying to tell you, like, like how you were just saying, like, when you said I came and I performed and I was in everybody, I was talking to everybody. Like, I literally chop it up with everybody. Crowd control. Out. Like, even if, even if I don't know you or I feel like you're not fucking with me, like, I'm still going to, like, be like, what's up with you, bro? Like, how you feeling today? Like, you feel me? You do music, bro? What you, what you make clothes, bro? Like, that's how I am. Like, because even if I feel like, like, or even if I see that you don't do what I do. You always, you still got a place somewhere in, in, in here. Like, you feel me with me? Like, you feel me? You still got some place. Like, I, I, I see opportunity within everybody. Like, like my boy, he on rap. He, just, he, he literally just saying, like, you feel me? But he don't know how to write music. Like, you feel me? So he tell me, like, bro, like, write, write me a little song or whatever. You feel me? I tell him, I don't ghostwrite. But that's when my other boy come in. He don't rap. He don't make, he don't sing. But he we're going like, to teach you to, we're going to teach you to, actually, let me give you a quick note about that. A ghostwriter, bro. It's somebody that literally makes all of your music. For sure. Like, Easy e Ice Cube. Yeah. Like, motherfucking, if you sit there, like, Mike, Drake. Right. You do? Like, you like See, ghostwriting is like somebody that literally like, comes and makes all your shit. Like, when I tell you, you, for your boy, he, he knows how to sing, but yeah. that's not a ghostwriter, bro. He has a co-writer. He has a publisher. Okay, I Somebody that saying. wrote the song originally. Like, wow, Ty Dolla Sign. Like, you got to give the respect where the original wrote it. Exactly but you when mean. you say a ghostwriter, bro, that means I have zero credit for this song. None of this is my words. I'm just the character for it. Mm. So I, so that's a quick one when we educate them. Like, yeah, you can have a ghostwriter, but no. Whatever the fuck I write, you better live. <laughs> I get what you're saying, though. But like I was saying, like that's why where I find like another person. Like, you feel me? I find somebody who don't rap, who just know how to write. You feel me? Who know how to write music. And I'd be like... I'm put you on, bro. Yeah, you feel me? I like having people meet other people like that I know, like you feel me, can help them, like puzzle pieces. You feel me? Like, oh, you might not have this, but he do. Like, you feel me? She do. Or I do. Didn't you feel me? That's, that's how that, that's one thing that I'm trying to do to get my, my name out there, put my face on, get my face on the motherfucking screen, you feel me? I, y'all know how we come I like that. Like, I'm just trying to do something, you feel me, to make everybody feel like they're a part of something. Like, you feel me? I like your do it because it shows that. Even if I'm not a source, I'll give you a resource. That's why my that's why my name just Q, bro. It's a real shit because it was literally just like literally just Q. But it's but now nah, I changed it to just Q because I want my to know. At the end of the day, I'm still a normal person. Even if I do make it, I'm still just Q. You feel what I'm saying? I'm still just 
just that's the same. Girl. You feel me? Like that's that's real shit. That's why. That's why. That's my. We're name. gonna tap. Like, we're gonna tap into it when actually we're gonna tap into it when people get to know really who you who you want. But God real, I want you to take him into the world, bro. Of explaining Lily, yo, do it to move it because I know. My God, when I say he got a track record, that's the reason why when he said Ghostwriter, he said back like, yeah, I know some pieces that he even put together. So when I say it's a lot that goes on in the motherfucking background, bro, please understand there's a lot that goes on in the background. But go ahead and give your knowledge on that, God. Let's see. Ghost, we, all right, we start with the Ghostwriter. I don't know who Ghostwriter for who. <laughs> that's the thing people don't know about. I'm going to say this. If you see certain people in the studio with certain people, they in the right. That's the part people don't know. So if you catch me in the studio, I'm in there doing something. I ain't going to say a couple names. Just though, like, you just got to know who, who, who doing what. Mm-hmm. It might be air hit, but it might not be what yeah. your cup of tea is I'm, right I'm, now. <laughs> I'm going to say this. A lot of your favorite songs, I know who wrote them. Oh, God. <laughs> I know who wrote Boy, them. Boy, what I say, I can sit back and watch you see them writers I, come I, out. I, I I know who wrote them. Please do the research behind when y'all see them songs yeah, drop. Certain people that's buzzing, I know who wrote them. <laughs> like, I know them people. <laughs> like, I know who wrote them, like, easy. Like, oh, yeah, this person wrote them. I'm bro, right for bro, all the time. Mm. But you wouldn't know bro, right for bro, all the time. I ain't gonna, I can't say the day, but you don't know bro, wrote for bro. That's that's the part people don't understand. And then like my track record, like me, I do everything you see. I do it myself. I record myself. I mix myself. That's that part. That's that's why. Like when it comes to engineering, to be honest, this is probably gonna be the first time I said this stuff. Like live, out of everybody here who engineer, I'm probably the best one out of everybody here right here. Mm-hmm. Only reason why I say that is because. Anybody I record, I treat that music like it's mine. So I'm going to make sure they get the best out of me. I don't sit down and record you just to take your money. I'm near that. One more time. One more time. I'm not there to take your money. There's too many engineers that's here that's here to take your money. A lot, a lot that of part. can't mix. Say that. And then, which is the truth. <laughs> if they think they mix better than me, I will do something that will piss them off real bad quick. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even it's, just the plug-ins. It's not. And I, I would do something. And then your template is not going to save you. <laughs> That's the other thing. People use templates. Your template is not going to save you. It's not at all. Especially dealing with somebody like me. Like, I went to school. I actually paid attention. That's that's the main thing. Like, I paid attention. Yes, sir. And I applied myself. When you apply yourself, you learn. And that's the other part people don't understand also. See, video. Videos was a plus. People don't even know I shoot and edit videos. I'm probably like, I'm one of the best video editors here. People don't know that. <laughs> but people going to find out. Main person I, I learned from. Main person I learned from was JYS. People don't know JYS been knowing me since I was 15. Like, that's how long I've been around him. Program, like, I was in. But JYS probably the only person. He know I got a story to, like, really tell, though. I probably got like the craziest story out of every person here, like that's in the city. But only reason because of my upbringing. Like if people knew my upbringing, they knew my story. They be like, yeah, like I I started from the bottom. Like I didn't know nothing. Like I didn't know how to rap. <laughs> like my little, I'm gonna tell people don't know. Like my little brother, the one that was in here, I didn't even know how to rhyme. <laughs> like my little brother helped me. So my my little brother helped me how to run, but I helped him with his delivery. Are y'all real brothers? Yeah, we were yeah. real, uh, real life. Yeah. Hold up, real hold real up. Life. Before we get too carried <laughs> so away. Look, so look, this is the thing, though. This is the thing people don't know. Like, they be like, he the man up there. Oh, yeah, your brother the man down there. So what y'all going to think going to happen if we come Collab. together? Yeah. Hold the profile game, right? And that's the biggest, that's like that's the biggest part that I actually want to point out in that. And I'm going to get right to you, God. Like, the point of understanding I have taught myself enough to know that in my family I'm passing it down but when the fuck was it competition it was meant to be that way in my eyes in my little brother's eyes like me 
me and my brother, oh yeah, we're gonna see that competition every time. Like he teaching me something, but at the same time, damn, your brother got it up here. You got it down here. Yeah, imagine. Like you said, bro, that's literally I really put it on if motherfuckers wanna go anime, bro, I really put it on some first Hokage, <laughs> second Hokage shit, bro. Yeah. I really fuck you up if we both together. Right. But understanding when you have your blessing and I can also teach another blessing to pass on. Right. It ain't just me. So when you take on that note and no, like you said, you didn't even know that there was bloodline in here, bro. Yeah, nah. When I say, bro, there's a reason why a lot of us sit back, a lot of us understand where each one of us is, bro, is because you never know who you know. That's right. right. And you never know how many of us actually work together already. Man, that's why I said, like, behind the scenes, you won't even know what's new. You won't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> even you listening to your music, I'm I like, know a couple of hands that I'm literally like, this what? man touched, bro. Like, this man got a couple of hands on Lily's song that you might not actually even know, but they're your favorite. Yeah, like they people come to me, like you'll be surprised. There's a reason why I tell people, like the first time I actually worked with God, which is still some more that we got to be playing anyway, was when I did a remix with Blondie Blanco. What's going on with the sis? But Lily remixing that song, and I heard God for the first time mix my shit. Yeah, it takes a different level, but it also has a whole different ear. Yeah, but it, industry and underground has a completely whole different ear. Man, but you gotta when it comes to mixing, like I listen to so much music, like I know how your music's supposed to sound. And then like that's the thing with us here, like a lot of people a lot I would a lot of artists don't know how their music properly supposed to sound. Like they don't know the difference between mono and stereo. Like it, it's a lot of engineers who don't know the <laughs> That like, part like, like it is a very big it's difference. A, it's a difference, like but you gotta learn it, but once you learn it, I tell like artists that record with me, I teach them both. Hold on, God, I want to tap them into that one. I want to tap them into that one because I do want to still give God his time. Because I was gonna put on a music break, but I'm gonna wait till the end to put us on a music break. Because this segment, you tapped in on that that I so bad want to talk about. <laughs> but Cup Boy. Go ahead and speak on your do it to movie because oh my god, we got some segments to talk about, man. But Lily, go ahead and give Shit. your word on there. My do it to move it for real, it, it was all about taking a journey, you know what I'm saying? My nigga like, evolved since then, bro. Yeah, like since it, we first did that, it's in the whole evolve. First, it's been a lot of firsts coming up for me, but I'm just taking it in stride. So, like, it's been a long four years, open mics. 15 people in the room, 5 people in the room. 26 the people in the room. Then it's always, oh shit, so you know, it, it, it's just, it gets to a point to where you start leveling up. And you start, okay, I need to put myself in a different room. Right. I need to put myself in a different One room. One more time. A different room, a different audience. Feel me? More people, more name, bigger money. Hmm. I'm thinking business aspect. Yeah, the performance is fun. That, that, that's cool and all. But when I go out of town to these events where I get winning contests and pitfall, oh, I go out of there with USBs with my name on it, with my music on it. I go out of town with CDs and I don't need no money. Take, take five stacks, put them in a gas station, walk out. You know what I'm saying? You got to put your name out there, even the people that don't know you, that you ain't met. Like, there's been plenty of people that have been hit me up on Instagram. Yo, I just... Found your USB, da da da. Like I don't give a fuck if you take my USB and toss it. A salute to the guy. Somebody gonna find. It. Not even to, not even to pause on that one, but exactly, you know who I'm talking about when I say this. Salute to the guy, best pace ever. Because Lily, when I tell y'all, both of y'all really footwork and also groundwork of how y'all market yourselves makes me literally respect the fuck out of y'all. Like, bro, it's not for the royalties. I'm going to get this later. I need to get my foot in this door, and you might be the way. You might be the next connection I need. But continue with that, God. Yeah, so it's just like, so it went from open mic nights to the opening up for big time names, but Hell it's yeah. just the, oh, another open mic night, and when you're done performing, you watching this person perform. You ain't open up for nobody. You ain't in no stadium. You're not at the U.S. Bank Arena. You're not at the Red Stadium. You're not at the Bingo Stadium. Wake up. You're in a club. A Message. <laughs> like, if you ain't downtown, if 
down there at the Fifth Third Big Square. On the you, square, you nigga. You ain't doing your first show down there. You ain't doing your first show in the city. Gee. If you ain't doing your first show at U.S. Bank Arena, you ain't doing your first show in the city. My public performance? God, do I have permission to answer this line? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on, man. Because <laughs> the fact that the motherfucker interrupted during the time of the segment. Hey, yo! Who is this on my radio? Um, Ty, I was calling in. Let's I'm sorry, baby. You got to show love, but we ain't got time for the questions right now. Who? Who is that? Thank you. But who is this? Uh, sorry, your sister. Oh, hey, Nene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <we good. laughs> Most definitely love. Much respect. So one more time, who just bust my radio? Uh, your sister, Chai. Much respect, Chai, man. Tap right back in with us, all right? Hi. For sure, for sure. She wasn't nervous then. Hey. I don't think that was her. No, nah, that was my little sister. The first one was my shorty. Oh, yeah, okay. You need to say, hey, 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 Tell me. Hey, so God, real, go ahead, bro. go hey, ahead, man, God. Real. But I wanna, we gonna. <laughs> oh my God, man, that's a Forrest Gump moment. Before Please don't be mad at that becoming your new fucking name. <laughs> but literally, I wanna bring the world back in. And Cut Boy, man, also continue with yeah, what like, you were saying, God. Like I was saying though, like uh, it it just go from the opening up for so called people, and when you know what shows to go for, what crowd to be around, like. A lot of people, like how really be said, a lot of people don't know shit that you be doing because you keep it under wraps. I got picked for my nigga B Moss. Shout out B Moss. Got Salute picked to go guy. down to Atlanta. Now, I'm around Boosie's engineer, uh, his engineer's buddy that he be around Atlanta with. I'm in QC's uh, VIP section, smoking with they people that know QC, baby coach dad, coach K. Like, so it. And we didn't just ask to be in that section. Like, we went the day before at that event and networked, passing out my USB. Boosie Engineer was like, to his own crew, like, yo, why ain't y'all doing this shit? To get, to get that reaction and you, somebody that they don't know, and then a motherfucker be like, hey, you know who I am? And you tell them, no, I don't. Oh, that strikes a fucking nerve. Oh, God. Oh, it hurts feelings. And he be like, hey, you know who the fuck I am? I don't know who you is. Oh, you think this shit again? Here, take my Instagram. Yeah, I didn't even ask for his Instagram. Man, you know... Man, hey, I'm sorry. Hold on. It's it's funny that you said that. Cause little do you motherfucking know. That's literally how me and Relly Boy fucking introduce each other. Like, hold on, wait. You don't know who I am? I don't know. Nah, bro. This is the first time I've been in the studio with you, bro. Like, hold on, wait. What the hold on. And then Lily meeting the guy. Ace, when he finally told me, I'm like, bro, I just met a nigga named Relly Boy. He was like, oh, yeah, that's my brother. Uh-huh. And I was like, hold on, wait, 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 what the fuck? Pause. Like, where the fuck did this happen at? Yeah, See, this you is, wouldn't even know. <laughs> this the thing, though, like, what I did with him, I told him, like, go build your own self up. Like, don't worry about me. Don't even tell people you know. Like, don't even tell people we family. Like, let them find out on their own. Like, build, build your name up. Just like Hollywood. I ain't know y'all niggas was brothers. Man, Nobody knew. Right. But that, I told you that. But yeah, though, it's just, you got to know how to put yourself in the right room. You got to know how to surround yourself with the right people. Like, there's people that you love. There's people that you call your bros. There's people that you consider family. There's also people that you know you cannot bring into your business. Facts. Because you don't want liabilities. You don't want errors. And you don't have time to be going bankrupt over some shit that somebody else gets. Actually, wow. Why we still got a little bit of time? I literally want to speak keynote on that. One more, God, one more time, God. Please repeat what you just said. When you love people that you call your family, your bros, and all of that, sometimes those people you cannot bring into your business life because you don't want liabilities, errors, or financial 
situations that you cannot bounce Piggy back. Piggybacking off of the guy when he said that, don't fucking say you know me. Let them figure it out on their own. Because when you understand this game, bro, I have myself before I can even call my brother. I have myself before I can even say, cut boy, bro, give me in the same VIP. You got to understand, your network is your network. Your groundwork is your groundwork. Please understand that. Now, I'm going to give him a little minute to, because sadly we closing it on time, but I'm going to try to hurry up and get us into our closing section because this is my favorite fucking segment. But I want y'all to tap in real quick with me. 513-386-9412. You know I got the God, Cut Boy. You know I got the God, Rally Boy. You know I got the God, Just Cute. Every nigga getting paid off of me saying their name now. Go up. This is the GTS show. Busy One Radio with the guy putting mass in my man. Tap right back in with me.
put your motherfucking hands up. Man, the way the mama shake it, got my ass stuck. She can tell by how I'm looking that I'm trying to fuck. These other niggas keep on staring cause they out of luck. This ain't no movie, put the motherfucking cameras up. I'm not a goofy or a dummy cause I'm smart as fuck. Get this money, then I flip it just to stack it up. Had to switch it up, you know I'm the runner up. Gotta make it out the streets, so I'm running it up. And when I hop up on the beat, you know I'm fucking it up. I used to think this shit was easy, but this shit really tough. So I keep applying pressure, cause my time finna come. Like I told you once before, man, this shit is a go. I ain't slowing down for nothing, I done did that before. I put my heart out every time I grab the mic at a show. And when I started, ain't nobody really know I can flow. I just grind to get mo. I got my hand on the dough. And I mean it when I say we started this from the flow. That's why every single day I'm trying to run up the score. I'm the one they hate the most if you ain't already know ha. Put your motherfucking hands up Man, the way the mama shake it got my ass stuck She can tell by how I'm looking that I'm trying to fuck These other niggas keep on staring cause they out of luck This ain't no movie, put the motherfucking cameras up I'm not a goofy or a dummy cause I'm smart as fuck Get this money, then I flip it just to stack it up Had to switch it up, you know I'm the runner up Looking back, never thought that I would make it this far I remember hitting Hattie's just to buy out the bar Flipping patties wasn't for me, so I start selling jars My own brother did me dirty, had to cut him right off And that's facts, and I would never go back to that Now I got a team of niggas and they solid like crack I wanna get some buku figures just so I can sit back Smoke and relax, sip some yak, with some chains on my neck If I ain't feeling what you saying, then I gotta hit next Had to start my own wave, cause I'm not like the rest I ain't saying I'm the greatest, I'm just one of the best Run like a bet, Nike check, I just go and do it Niggas talk about a bad, but can't never prove it Thinking you first, but you last, look at how you moving Put your motherfucking hands up Man, the way the mama shake it, got my ass stuck She can tell by how I'm looking that I'm trying to fuck These other niggas keep on staring cause they out of luck This ain't no movie, put the motherfucking cameras up I'm not a goofy or a dummy cause I'm smart as fuck Get this money, then I flip it just to stack it up Had to switch it up, you know I'm the runner the rub. Yeah. 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 We have came down to the final closing of the time, man. Y'all already know, man, as much as I wish, y'all know y'all love to get into this next segment, bro, but we're going to have to save it for the next round. But I want the gods to let the world know where they can be found, where they can be followed. My nigga, talk your shit. But I want y'all to let them know, man, where can they find y'all? Uh, you can find me on everything. Rally boy. Rally underscore boy. Rally with a Y. Boy with a I. I kept fucking it up with a I. <laughs> Everybody do it. It's all right, though. 3,000. Everything. Rally. Rally boy 3,000. Yes, Everything. sir. That's where you can find me at. Music. You just type in Rally boy. Or you could just Google. You know how people say Google my name? Google my name. Facts. And the watch, stamp. Watch, watch what's really going to watch. You're going to find out something about me you ain't know about. You're going to find out something that I'm on that you wouldn't even know I was on. You wouldn't even know it was me. <laughs> You'd be surprised. That's that the I'm reason on. why I call this shit the exclusive, bro. Like, don't, don't nobody know. I mean, I'm I'm on blogs right now. I woke up last night, middle of the night, phone pinging because I'm on blogs because I dropped my project. Say it oh, yeah. That shit. One more time. What is it? <laughs> Rally Boy 3000. Rally underscore Boy 3000. And what's the album they need to be looking for? Studio Trapper. Because already, he already let a snippet go, bro. Like, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. I already saw the feedback. I already saw the feedback. Now, where can they also find the Slice God? Hey, it's Cutboy. <laughs> How y'all doing, man? You can find me on Facebook at Cutboy. Now, I'm going to spell this out for y'all because a lot of people be getting my name messed up, okay? It's Come on, C- Big Warren. U-T-T. That's two T's. B-O-I, not a Y. W-O-R-M-M. That's two M's. Like M&M. You know what I'm saying? Two M's, not one. Cutboy, not Cutty. B-O-I, not with a Y. So, 
That's two T's like the T T's. T T T T T T's because I like double D's. All right, so <laughs> my nigga, you feel me? That's Facebook on Instagram. It's the real underscore Cup Boy. That's T H A R E A L underscore C U T T B O I. And you can find me on all platforms. It's the same. You feel me? Cup Boy Worm. It ain't never gonna change. C B G shit. Hey, don't forget we got a show coming up. Twister Talk gonna be that. tomorrow night. You feel me? Go get your tickets. Twister in the right. building. It's all on my motherfucking profile. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out VIP. Peace. We got shit going on. We got a lot of acts coming on from around the world. So we doing our thing, man. It's and y'all know. Life. You feel me? It's going to be exclusive, man, because y'all just tapped into the most exclusive. Y'all can find the guy at on IG, poetic underscore mastermind. Y'all can find me on Facebook. Mike, I ain't going to tell y'all how to spell the ice. Y'all already know it. Harper. And y'all also can find me on Twitter at Poetic Master Me with an I, the number one. And y'all know, peace and blessings, world. God and goddesses, kings and queens, niggas, and you know, I had the God Cup, boy. I had the God Rally, boy, man. I had the God Just Q come and bless y'all airways, man. Tap in, bro, because y'all never know who's going to be next. And I had the God AG. So yep. never forget what it is, man. This is Busy One Radio, the most exclusive podcast. It's your God, Poetic Master Mind. This is the GTS Show. We out this motherfucker.